Hey everybody, it's Isaac here from Cambridge Foods by Isaac. Do you ever get tired of having your shakes while on the Cambridge diet? I have great news for you. If you haven't been watching my show, you're certainly going to be glad you tuned in today because today we're going to learn how to convert a Cambridge diet shake into a Cambridge diet jelly donut mug cake. So stay tuned here on Cambridge Foods by Isaac. So everyone, before we get started here, let's just go over our ingredients. Of course, if you want to see the full list of how to make this cake with instructions, make sure to go to my website. I'll provide the link in the description below. Um, but uh, if you want to check it out now, it's called CambridgeDietStore.com, where it's the official website of Cambridge Foods by Isaac. So anyway, to begin, we have here one tablespoon of uh, low-calorie butter. Um, I'm using Land O'Lakes, which is only 50 calories a tablespoon. Uh, we have one egg. We have one tablespoon of uh, milk of your choice. Um, using only one tablespoon is going to be really low calories no matter what you choose. This is um, sweetened almond milk. It's only five calories for the tablespoon. Next to that, we have one tablespoon of Palaner All Fruit Strawberry Jam. Uh, you can use any jam you like. Um, by using the uh, All Fruit brand, it's only 35 calories a tablespoon. Over here is the star of our show here. It's uh, the um, flour I'm using. It's called Carb Quick. It is the lowest calorie flour I have ever found. It's made specifically for diabetics who need to count their carbs, but it's super low calories. We're using two tablespoons of that. It's a very, very expensive flour, so if you want to use something else, just look for the lowest calorie flour you can find in your area. Or you can order Carb Quick on Amazon, like I did. Next to that, I have two tablespoons of stevia, and next to that, I have one um, mixture. It's about a tablespoon of stevia with some um, about a half teaspoon of cinnamon, just so I have a little cinnamon sugar. You can flavor that to taste. And of course, the star here is our Cambridge Vanilla Food for Life Shake. You can use any um, Cambridge program vanilla. It doesn't have to be Food for Life. You can use the other flavors available as well. You can really make a mug cake out of any Cambridge shake there is. Uh, but for today, we're going to use vanilla to make our jelly donut. So with that all said and done, let's begin. Now the first thing you'll notice is I'm using a large size coffee mug. This is the kind that you would kind of put soup in or cereal something. It's more of a bowl size. You can do this in a standard size coffee cup. I will advise you keep a really close watch on this because it does tend to overflow when you cook it. And this is going to be made in our microwave. So it's a hot sunny day right here. Very humid. So it's perfect to cook in the microwave. No extra heat from the kitchen. So the first thing we're going to do is put our butter into this mug and we're just going to put it in the microwave to melt that down. You can see with the heat it's already starting to melt down on its own. So bear with me one second while I melt that and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back. You see here the butter has been melted in a microwave. It took about 20 seconds to do that. So the next thing we're going to do is add in our sugar, which we're using stevia here. And we're also going to add our egg at this time and then we're just going to mix these together. Okay, that's mixed pretty well. So now what we're going to do is add our uh, one serving of our Cambridge shake. And today I'm using vanilla, the uh, Food for Life vanilla. And oops, I need to get another scooper. I transferred my scooper to another bag. Hold on one moment. Okay, I have a scoop here. What happened was I have a friend who's interested in trying the program. So I put a, a day's worth of shakes and uh, in a baggie and I gave them my scoop. So I just borrowed from another bag here. So here we go. That's one and two scoops we do with the Food for Life. Okay, close that off. And we're also going to add in our carb quick flour at this time. And now we're going to mix this together. Um, it's always good to mix with a fork because you can kind of sift through things and uh, get in some tighter, chunky areas. And just try to go around the edges. It does splash around a little bit. Sometimes some flour can fly out and make a little bit of a mess. You want to make this doughy. And remember, we are going to add in some milk to this also to water it down. So if it seems too thick, don't worry about it. Keep on going. You want to get it mostly blended before you add any other liquid. 
can tell you it smells good already just adding that vanilla and the flour. Okay, let's add our milk. You want to have sort of a cake batter consistency here and see that's doing the job pretty well right there. Just keep mixing that in nice and creamy. Okay, that is nicely mixed. Let's just try to get all of our batter in there. Okay, now what we want to do is try to make a little cave, if we can. If not, we're just going to dump this jam right in. I will just push it down into the center. That'll make our jelly center for our donut cake here. And you can try to scoop a little batter over it. It's still kind of thick and doughy, so we can kind of bury it. Okay, that's pretty much it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to microwave this and depending on your wattage on your microwave, times can vary. I'm going to start off at 45 seconds. If you need to go longer, you just want to do an extra 15 seconds at a time. You got to watch this because it's going to rise like a souffle. It's just going to bubble up and come way up. If it gets too high, it will spill over the sides and make quite a mess. So even if it's not fully cooked, let it rest a second, put it back in and continue cooking. So I'm going to do that now and I will bring out the finished product. Okay guys, we're back and you see here that it's baked in the microwave. It's risen quite a bit. You can see I'm pushing down. We got a nice cake-like texture here and we got kind of a little divot in the middle where we inserted our jam. So now for a finishing touch, I'm just going to take my teaspoon here and sprinkle a little of our cinnamon sugar on top to give it that donut-y, jelly donut uh, sugar sprinkle. Just rub that all around. This step's completely optional. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can just have a nice vanilla cake. Okay. I'm going to dig in here just so we can find that jelly that cooked deep down. Where did you go, jelly? Ah, there it is. It's like a hidden lava cake in there. Okay, very good. Let's taste and enjoy now. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. Here comes our first taste. Dig in. Whoops, I just made a mess there, didn't I? <laughs> Let's see. Mmm. Delicious. I may need to put it in the microwave a little bit longer. We got kind of a pudding-like consistency here, but I want to taste some of that jelly. Let's see here. Mmm. Very good. This one's a keeper for sure. But I am going to put this in for a few more seconds, maybe another 30 seconds or so. Like I say, microwaves vary. Um, this is the first time I've done it in a big cup. I usually do it in smaller cups, but I wanted a big cup for the camera. So I'm going to cook this a little bit longer and I'm going to keep enjoying this. And again, I'll have the recipe posted uh, on my website, CambridgeDietStore.com. I'll provide the link below. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to click the subscribe button to learn more about the Cambridge program, the product reviews, or some great recipes.